All right, hello everybody. So, today we are going to do some fly fishing. And uh, yeah, I just hope uh, it's gonna go well. Last couple of days I went out and I caught absolutely nothing, which wasn't great. But hopefully today is much better, and I think it will be. Weather's very nice, and I'm trying out a new spot too. So, we will see. Right, first fish of the day is a little roach. Beautiful little fish. Very warm. There we go. That was a great fish attack. And it's not a small one either. Opa. Very nice size roach. Fat one. Look at that. Pretty fish. And off he goes. That was a perfect example of what I was talking about seeing the fish on the surface and then as I see them throw the fly in there and they attack pretty much there's another one this one is a perch this time. Nice little perch. I almost fell off the bridge. That is not a good thing. <laughs> Huh. A little perch. Oh no, it's not a perch, it's a roach. And he swallowed it very deep. So I need to get my unhooker. Okay, so how this works is you keep the line nice and tight. Which I can do by doing this. And you stick it in his mouth push, pull, and it's out. Doesn't even harm the fish. And he's perfectly fine. Off he goes. I don't know if you see that, but the reeds over there are moving, and that means there's a fish there. And it's looking like a relatively big fish. It would be interesting to see what kind of fish that is. And I think I'm also going to switch out the fly because right now I'm fishing with a nymph which is a weighted fly which sinks to the bottom well sinks maybe not to the bottom but sinks and I'm seeing a lot a lot of little insects flying just above the water's surface so I'm going to try get it into a not a dry fly but a subsurface fly I'll show you now so I'm thinking either Something like this, this little green one I think will be good. It's quite a big fly, so maybe not. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try the smaller one first. I'm not sure. I ah, will stick with the, no, nah, we'll go for the bigger one, why not? Catch some bigger fish today. I'm in the mood for some big ones. Ah, have one. Lovely. Ah, it's a perch too. Not even a roach. 
Oh, these fish are super warm to the touch. Lovely little guy. Release him. There we go. Oh, I saw him taking everything. That was lovely. That was perfect. This is a nicer one. I think it's one of the bigger ones in here right now. And he absolutely destroyed it. Swallowed it very deep. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, I missed him too. I missed another one. Not very good at this fishing thing, huh? Oh, I see, I think it's a pike way over there on the other side of the canal. There's a darker shadow, quite large, around 40 centimeters. I think it's a pike. Very unsure though. Oh, he just got scared by the ducks. Oh, that was a quick bite. Oh, this is a bigger fish too. This is a very nice fish. Oh, it's a lovely perch. Oh, no, it's not even a perch. I keep thinking it's perch because of the red. Red is very defined in these fish. Look at that. That is a very, very, very nice fish. Oh, I love the colors of these fish sometimes. Look at him. Nice and red. Absolutely destroyed the fly again. Let's get the unhooker. There we go, unhooked. Nice big fish. Oh, big. Good sized fish for this. Very happy with that. Let's give him a nice release, I guess. And put the rod down. Let's get down here. And off he goes. Oh, I missed one. And I found out, oh, oh, you see, there we go. That was again on the landing. Very nice fish. Oh, smaller than this last one, but still very nice fish. There we go. I really like this kind of fishing, fishing small canals like this. Not necessarily for big fish, but it's, it's enjoyable. And another one. Oh, this is a little pike this time. Is it? No, it's not. I don't know. I'm seeing things apparently because this is still another roach. Why the heck did I think that was a pike? But again, nice little roach. And off he goes. <laughs> oh, lovely. Again, on the, on the surface, as it touches the water, there's a fish on it. Again, another nice sized roach. This time I didn't misidentify it as a pike or a perch. Okay, I'm gonna try on the dry fly. Mostly because I think I'm gonna end soon and I want uh, the end session to be a little bit more interesting because dry fly fishing is always fun. And color wise, I think I'll go brownish. Ah, this one sounds good, looks good. Brown gold like that, looks good. The insects flying around here are relatively brown. There's some moths which are a bit whiter. So this is a classic deal of match the hatch. And as usual, there's a bit of activity on the surface. Hopefully it'll translate into a fish relatively quick. Oh, that was insanely quick. It barely even touched the water. I want to get the fly nice and dry, that's why I'm whipping the fly back and forth like this before I cast. So I see it floating very nicely. Oh, I'm getting a lot of bites apparently. But I think it's a few small ones which can't swallow the fly properly. Oh, that was a nicer one and I missed him again. <laughs> yeah, this is very difficult because of how the size I think it is. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not, but would be very cool if you could. I'm gonna see in the video. 
and with the fly or the dry fly there's no retrieve it's literally just a cast wait and if nothing recast okay i'm gonna give it a couple of last casts oh there we go oh perfect i just needed to say last cast apparently okay last roach of the day and voila lovely fish and on that lovely note of catching a nice fish on the dry fly we will end the video hope to see you in the next one and uh hope you enjoyed thank you very much